Now it's about 5 a.m. on Black Friday and I've unwillingly woke up this early, so I thought that I would make use of the time and show you some of the best deals I've seen so far. Now I do want to remind you that I have a video about being a smarter shopper and making sure that you're actually getting a deal and that topic is extremely important today. One thing that you'll probably notice is that a lot of prices had been hiked up so they can be marked back down and make it look like a deal when in reality it's not. So I really do suggest that you check out that video. We're gonna be using one of the tools today, Camel Camel Camel, to make sure and look at the historical prices for a lot of these products. I'd also like to remind you that I just finished doing all of my holiday gift guides for 2023. I made all of those videos this week, so a lot of the Black Friday sales were active when I was talking about the prices of a lot of those products. You can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. Did a whole bunch of price categories and budgets, so please go ahead and check it out. I will be leaving links to all the products I talk about in the description. Please be aware that these are affiliate links. You are under no obligation to use them, but if you do, they do help the channel and I really do appreciate it. Also, I'm making this video on the morning of Black Friday. There may be additional sales that I'll end up seeing throughout the day that might be better. I will try to post them all on my Discord. If people would like me to post them on Twitter as well, just let me know. I'm doing my best to try to keep up with any of the good sales that I see throughout the day. With that in mind, let's go ahead and start with our first type of product, which are gonna be NVMe drives. There are some pretty good deals. For example, here, the Team Group MP34, four terabytes for $152 is a very good deal. Um, if we look at the price history, the all-time low is 149, and that was at the beginning of October. $152, you know, we're $3 over the all-time low. Still a very good deal. This is probably the best price you can get on a four terabyte NVMe drive. It is a PCIe Gen 3 though. Now there are some other really great NVMe drives as well. The Western Digital Black one terabyte SN850X, PCIe Gen 4, $80 right now for one terabyte. I mentioned this previously, but having one terabyte NVMe drives under $100 is just incredible. And I'm really happy that they're, we're at this point. Another great drive at the same price, Samsung 980 Pro, one terabyte PCIe 4, 7886 right now. The Crucial T500 two terabyte is currently $123. Again, PCIe Gen 4. And now going into DRAMless, NVMe drive. So all the previous ones I've talked about, even the Team Group one, all had DRAM and were TLC. Now we're going into some drives that have no DRAM, so you do lose a little bit of performance, but you get a cheaper drive. The Western Digital Black SN770, 100 bucks for two terabytes. Pretty good deal if you want to use this as an extra drive. Along the same kind of lines, the Crucial P3 Plus two terabyte, also 98.99. Now with NVMe's getting so cheap, a lot of people are forgetting about two and a half inch SATA drives, but there are some pretty good deals on these and they're still a very good idea to have in any PC. The Crucial MX500 two terabyte is currently $80. It's a pretty good deal. I have a whole bunch of these in my computer. They're a great drive and for 80 bucks for two terabytes, it's a really good way to store a whole bunch of stuff. FlexiSpot currently has a ton of really good deals on their standing desk products right now. For example, this model, the 48 by 24 inch full electric standing desk is $135.99 with a $36 coupon available, which brings us to a $100 electric standing desk, which is an incredible price. If you were looking into getting a standing desk, this is probably the best deal that you're gonna find on one. Um, it's a very, very good deal. With that in mind, I would highly suggest you check out all of their other sales that are going on right now and find something that fits your needs. Uh, if you're gonna be buying for somebody else, figure out what fits their needs, but this is easily the best deal that they have on their page right now through Amazon. Now there's a decent amount of monitor sales on right now. So the HP Omen 27Q, which is a 165 Hertz 1440p monitor, currently on sale for 200 bucks. This is a pretty good deal. If we go ahead and look at the pricing history, this is at the all time low for it brand new. One thing to keep in mind that I did see mentioned is that this monitor does often come with two different panels and one of them may be better than the other. So do keep that in mind. That same situation though, doesn't apply to the LG Ultra gear here. The 27GL83AB, I hate monitor names, but this is a really great monitor. Again, 27 inch, 1440p. This one is a 144 Hertz monitor, 100, and 99.99, so right at the $200 price point. 
this is a pretty good deal. It's a very, very good monitor. It's IPS. It's got HDR, kind of. Um, but in reality, this is a great gaming monitor and a really good purchase for anybody who wants a 27-inch 1440p. Now, Costco also has an incredible deal right now on the MSI 27-inch 1440p 170 hertz monitor. Really good thing about this deal is that you do not have to have a Costco membership to buy this one. I don't know nearly as much about this monitor, but it does seem to have some pretty good reviews overall. People have been pretty happy, and with the price of $170, it's a pretty good deal. Now, if all those monitors are out of stock by the time you're going to buy and you still want to get a 27-inch 1440p monitor, the 27GN800B from LG is still on sale, $186. This just isn't nearly as good of a panel as all the other ones we've mentioned. It's still IPS, however, so it's not a bad deal. I would just usually push people towards those other models instead of this one first. Now, I talked about this in my gift guide videos, but Keychron has a ton of of really good deals on their keyboards right now. I absolutely love their keyboards. I use the Q3 as my main keyboard on my gaming computer. I use a V1 as my main uh, keyboard for my streaming computer. And I used to use a Q1 as my main work keyboard as well. I would highly suggest you go ahead and look at the different types of keyboards that they have available. I will leave links for a whole bunch of the ones that I really enjoy in the description. The Q series is fantastic and it's their basically top of the line models. Um, the Q Pro series are the same, but wireless. The V series are also very well built and the K Pro series are very nice wireless keyboards as well. Now, a keyboard that I don't have any personal experience with, but I saw the deal and thought that it would be a really good idea to mention it is the Razer Huntsman V2 TKL. Under $50 for a well-built keyboard is a really good deal. Thought I'd mention it. Now, in terms of laptop deals, this is probably the best one that I've found. The Asus Tough laptop here with a RTX 4070 at $1,000 is a very good deal. I don't think we're going to see very many RTX 4070 laptops at this price point. Comes with a terabyte SSD, comes with 16 gigs of memory, which I would usually suggest is the minimum, especially if you're going to be using it for gaming. Um, this is a very, very good deal, and I'm curious to see how long it's going to last for. Now, Synology is not doing a ton of deals right now, but their DS923 Plus is on sale for $479. And if we go ahead and look, it is at the all-time low in terms of the new price. This is considered one of their best um, NAS systems that is able to support something like Plex, and you're able to run better programs on it. It's got 4 gigs of RAM, which is a, the minimum requirement for a lot of pieces of software that run on Synology's OS. It's a pretty good deal. If you were looking at getting a NAS, this isn't a bad option. Now, Apple has a relatively large amount of products on really good Black Friday sales at all-time lows. First example of that are the AirPods Pros, which are currently $190. It's a very good price for some noise-canceling earbuds. Uh, my father has these. We bought them for him last year, and he's really happy with these. I know a lot of people really do like them. They're extremely comfortable. They do a pretty good job. And especially if you're within the eco Apple ecosystem, they're going to be a good choice for you. The standard AirPods are also on sale for $80. Getting these for under $100 is a good deal no matter what. So this is a really good option as well. The Apple Watch SE, which has majority of the features of the Series 8 and I think a little bit of the Series 9, but for a much cheaper price, you don't get the always-on display or stuff like that. But $180 for this is a really, really good deal. Uh, I believe this is an all-time low, and it is. It's a very good price if you want to get a good Apple Watch. Again, just like everything else Apple, if you're within the ecosystem, it is a good choice. Another pretty big discount is the older iPad 9th Gen. They are discounting this thing down to $229, which is a very good deal. Um, the 10th Gen is about $100 more right now for the same iPad model. Um, do keep that in mind. There are some choices here in terms of color. Um, if you want to choose the higher storage, it's going to go up and it's not even really on sale in comparison. 64 gigs is a little bit low, but if someone's mainly going to be using this as a media consumption device, um, they're just going to be using it to watch you know, Netflix, YouTube, and what have you. This is a pretty good deal using it for FaceTime and stuff like that. The storage is a little bit lacking though, so do keep that in mind. Now, in terms of TVs, the sales seem to be a little bit hit and miss. 
Um, one of the best sales that I've seen have been on the LG C3 series in general across a bunch of different stores. For example, on Amazon, it is currently $15.96, which is $2 above the all-time low. And I believe it's even cheaper right now at Walmart and at Target. You would have to check though, I do have issues accessing the American versions of those websites from Canada and it gives me a whole bunch of issues. But the LG C3 series in general have been doing some pretty good discounts. Edifer also has a bunch of really good discounts on their bookshelf speakers. And in my previous videos, I've talked about how I really do like Edifer from a price and usability standpoint. I normally suggest people pick these up instead of you know, computer speakers that are meant for computers because they're usually not nearly as good for the way more money. Um, these are also very good in addition to a TV so that if somebody wants to have some better sound quality than the speakers that are built into their TV and have a lot of flexibility, these are all really, really great. The nice thing about a lot of the Edifer speakers is they're all Bluetooth. They usually have one or two inputs in the back. And one of the other models that we're going to talk about in a second also has the ability to be expanded with the subwoofer later. But first, the Edifer R1280 dBs are probably the best speakers you can get for under $100. You get the option of the all black or the wood grain style at the $100 price point. These are a very, very good budget option. If you do want to spend a little bit more though, the 1700 BTS are a much better speaker overall and they do have the sub out so that you can go ahead and expand this with a subwoofer later. Keeping on with some speakers, the JBL GO 3 is still discounted really, really nicely down to 30 bucks. This is a really good speaker for 30 bucks. Tribit also has the Stormbox Micro 2, which is a very good speaker for $42 or $43 if you use the coupon right now. It's a really good speaker. I have the older version. I love them very, very much. They are very powerful speakers for their size. The full-size Stormbox is also on a very good sale right now for $55. It is a noticeable jump over the Stormbox Micro in terms of the overall volume and just sound quality and bass that you get out of it. So do keep that in mind. If you want something a little bit more portable, do the Stormbox Micro. If you want something that's a little bit louder and can be paired with another one to do stereo sound, for example, the standard Stormbox is a much better option. Now, I've talked about chargers and charging cables and power banks a ton in all of my gift guide videos. Ugreen's got a lot of really good sales on right now. Some of the highlights, though, the Ugreen 65-watt and 100-watt chargers are on very good discounts right now. I bought the 100-watt charger earlier this year, and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite chargers to travel around with. The 65-watt charger is also very good, and this can charge most laptops as well. So if you want to replace your bulky laptop charger with something a little bit smaller, this is a really good option for you. But go ahead and check out all the rest of their deals. There are some pretty good ones that they've got going on right now. These are the ones that I just want to highlight. Govi also has some very good deals on right now. Specifically, their Govi Smart Light Bars. These are really nice. These are what I have on my TV behind me in basically all of my videos. They're a lot nicer than an LED strip. They put out a lot more light. They have very soft and diffused light. I really do like them. They're very easily controlled from the app. You can get a little bit creative with them. And at 35 bucks for a good pair of bias bars, this is nice. One of the other things I like about these is that they're very flexible. You can mount them to the back of a TV. You can have them standing straight up and pointing at a wall. You can do quite a bit with these. You can put them behind monitors. Very, very flexible. And I'm really happy with mine. Now, micro SD cards are basically being given away at this point. Getting 128 gigs for 15 bucks from SanDisk is an incredible deal. Uh, th these are the U3A2s and I would suggest that you focus on the U3A2s because they're so cheap and they are some of the better performing ones that you can get. We can even go up to the 256 and we're still getting it for 30 bucks. The 512, $32. And I believe even the one terabyte's on sale for $89. Obviously the 512 and the 128 are the two best deals right now. There's not a lot left, so do keep that in mind. Um, but there are other options out there. For example, Samsung also has a very good lineup here. This is actually the model that I use in my Steam Deck. Um, I do have the 512 gig version, but $12 for 128 gigs, 
fifteen dollars for two fifty six or thirty five dollars for five hundred and twelve are all very good prices. Now, gaming controllers are also having some pretty good sales right now. The Xbox controllers have been sitting around forty five bucks throughout this week, so that's really great. Do keep in mind the color availability is going to be limited. Um, they sell out pretty quickly, but this price is available at most stores that I've seen so far between Amazon, Target, Walmart, Costco, uh, even some of the computer brands like Dell is selling these for $45. So shop around if you do want to pick one up. The DualSense controllers are also on sale for $50 and this is their all time low. There are a few different color options here. And just like with the Xbox controllers, it's available at a bunch of different stores at this price. Now, a lot of the streaming sticks also have some really great deals as they usually do on Black Friday. The Chromecast 4K is currently $38. And the nice thing is, is this price is available everywhere, whether you get it from Google, whether you go to a physical store or you get it from Amazon. So that's pretty nice to see. Amazon usually screws a little bit with a lot of the Google products. 38 bucks is a really good deal for this one. This is what I use. The Fire Stick 4K is $25, which is also a very good deal. The 4K Max is $40. Since putting together this list last night at 1 a.m., the Roku Stick is no longer available but their 4K Plus version of the stick is on sale for $25, and the Roku Ultra is also on sale for $70. Now, there are a few DAC amps on sale right now that are a pretty good price. The Topping DX3 Pro Plus is currently on sale for $170. That is their all-time low. Um, this is a very, very good DAC amp that's available. does a very good job and can power basically most of the headphones that you can ever want to use. And it also could be used for speakers. The iFi Zen DAC V2 currently is $189, although it has been spiking up and down lately. When I checked it a few days ago, it was a little bit cheaper. So do keep that in mind. This is another very, very good DAC amp. And if you see it drop below the $190 mark, it is a pretty good deal. Now, Garmin also has a lot of their smartwatches on sale. The Phoenix 7 Pro Sapphire Solar is $200 off which is currently $700. It's a very, very good watch. I know that it is a lot of money. They have a lot of their other models on sale as well. For example, the Forerunner 255 is 250 right now. This is also a very good deal, and I believe that it is the all-time low for this one, and it is. This is a very good watch. Garmin has a lot more products than a lot of the other companies do in terms of wearables, and they're all kind of focused towards different things. So I would go ahead and take a look at what they have on sale determine what might be best for your needs and then go with that. You can also save some money going with the older models. For example, the current model is the Instinct Solar 2, but the original Instinct Solar right now is $190. This is a really, really good watch for 190 bucks. Um, I would suggest this to most people. This will have, this is a very good entry level adventure watch. It's good for a lot of different activities. And that solar aspect is going to make the battery last you a very long time. I believe on this model with the solar, its average battery life on the standard smart mode is 24 days, which is pretty incredible. Now, it's not a sale video without Dimitri talking about Legos and Lego has a lot of deals for Black Friday. Some of them are better than others, but I would highly suggest them. I personally love Legos and I'm hoping to buy maybe a set or two throughout the holidays. Do check these out, whether you're buying it for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. Legos are really, really great. They are very long lasting gifts. And, you know, they're a gift that you put it together and you have a lot of fun with it. And then it becomes a showpiece. So they're pretty good gifts. And I love them myself. So one very noticeable headset sale that I've seen is the Razer Black Shark V2 Pros. They're currently down to $100, which is about $2 over their all time low. They're a pretty decent headphone for hundred bucks. You get a wireless headset. They are very good at noise isolation due to their design. And it's a pretty good option for a budget, relatively budget wireless headset. If you're looking for a good deal on a capture card, the EVGA XR1 Pro is currently $90, which is pretty insane. This is a 1440p 60 FPS or 4K 30 FPS capable capture card. It is able to pass through 1440p 144 Hertz HDR or 4K 60 Hertz HDR. At this price point, it's a pretty insane deal. I use the XR1 Pro for a lot of my captures. Um, I do have a lot of capture cards, however, but this one is fantastic and it's external. So that may benefit you, it may not. Really good deal either way. 
EVGA also has the Supernova 1600 on sale for $185. You're not going to find any 1000 watt plus power supplies at this price point. Now this isn't the greatest power supply. It's usually rated at about a B tier, but getting this amount of power at this price point is pretty incredible. Thought I'd mention it. Didn't want to miss it. And to close things off, Amazon warehouse deals, there are a lot of them that are going for an additional 20% off. So do keep that in mind if you don't mind buying something that was open boxed or used. Also, a lot of software is going on sale today as well. So do keep that in mind if there's a particular piece of software that you've been holding off buying, whether it's a VPN, whether it is a particular piece of utility software, whatever. There are a lot of good options out there and a lot of them are doing sales for Black Friday. So go ahead and check those out if you're interested. With all that said, I hope you have a safe and successful Black Friday. I really do hope this video helped you out. If not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like subscribed, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thought Simon Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you wanna see the buying guides that I talked about earlier, go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. As always, stay safe out there. See you next time.